In this astropictionary math problem, we want to calculate luminosity and flux between stars A and B, where in this case star B has four times the distance of star A. So here we're at planet Earth, and we have two stars in the sky. Star A is one quarter the distance of star B. Both stars are the same color because both stars have the same luminosity. We want to find the flux received from star A compared to that of star B. Well, let's go write some things in here. We know that the luminosity at the surface of each star is the same. So I'm just going to put an L here because they're both the same. However, we have two stars that are at a different distance from each other. So we want to find out the flux that's received in one square meter on the surface of the Earth, and that would be called the flux of A. And we want to compare that to the amount received from star B, which is at a much further distance. So it's at 4D, whereas star A is at D. We want to find the flux that's received from star B. Remember, flux is the amount of starlight that leaves the surface of the star, but that falls on one square meter on the surface of your object, when this case is planet Earth. The generic equation for flux is flux is equal to luminosity divided by 4 pi d squared. So the flux of A is equal to the luminosity L, we don't have to put an A here because it's the same luminosity as B, divided by 4 pi dA. So we know it's at a different distance, so I'm just going to put a dA. The flux of B is equal to the same luminosity divided by 4 pi dB squared. Since we want to find a comparison, we want to take a ratio. We want to see the flux from star A compared to star B. So let's go ahead and draw in A, flux of A, divided by the flux of B. So we have to put a big division sign in here, and we need to put this part is flux A, and this part's flux B, so we need to put luminosity divided by 4 pi d squared on the numerator, and then the luminosity divided by 4 pi d squared on the denominator. So let's go ahead and add that. Luminosity divided by 4 pi, and now we have a d, but it's at a different distance, so I have to put a dA here and square it, and then put the luminosity below it and put 4 pi d squared below that. And then what we do is we eliminate like variables. So let's get our pen out, change our size pen. Luminosity is the same, and 4 pi is the same, so we can eliminate both. But now we need to simplify our equation, so we're going to go ahead and keep what's in the numerator and the denominator. We have nothing right now in the numerator, but we got a dA squared in the denominator, so we're going to go ahead and put that in the denominator. And then once again, we have nothing in this denominator, except for db squared, and that db squared get kicked to the top. So we have a db squared. And so now we can't simplify it anymore, but one thing we do have that we did not put in here was that we have a difference between dA and db that is known. We have that star B is four times the distance compared to star A. So the distance of B is equal to four times the distance of A. So wherever we say DB, we just need to substitute in for DA. So there is DB on the numerator. So we're going to put a four and a DA. and square it, and then we just have dA squared in the denominator. So let's find the solution to that. 4 squared is 16, and then dA squared is just that, dA 
squared. And below, we've got dA squared. Now we can eliminate like variables. Let's get our pen out. dA squared go, eliminates dA squared from the numerator and denominator. And now we have our final answer. The flux of B relative to the flux of A is 16.